German crews on the ground could see their shells connecting. Fighter pilots watched their cannon bursts walk straight across the wings. Yet somehow, those American bombers refused to drop. One after another, they stayed in the air long after any normal aircraft should have given up. It puzzled the German commanders. How do you bring down a machine that keeps flying after losing one engine, then another? These bombers limped home to England looking half-destroyed, torn open, smoking, sometimes barely recognizable as airplanes, but they made it back. The mystery finally started to clear when the Germans recovered a crashed B-17 and pulled it apart piece by piece. They didn't discover some hidden gadget or miracle armor. What they uncovered was a mindset, build the thing to survive, not to escape danger. The engines were built to breathe at high altitude. Every critical cable had a twin running beside it, ready to take over if the first was cut. Fuel tanks sealed themselves when hit. The engines could keep turning even while badly damaged. And the frame? It was so heavily built that it could absorb terrifying amounts of punishment and still stay in the sky. The engineer's report was grim. The B-17 wasn't designed to avoid enemy fire. It was designed to be hit, keep its shape, and claw its way home. A bomber that behaved less like an airplane, and more like a stubborn, unstoppable machine, almost a flying ghost that simply refused to die.